Hey everybody, this is Sean with Spotlight Photographics and Photo Solutions Market. And today we're going to be talking about unpackaging your brand new template that you just downloaded from Photo Solutions Market. Uh, this is going to be regarding the Spotlight Photographic templates, so all of the sports templates that you see on our website. Uh, and we're going to cover a couple different topics here. Uh, once you've downloaded them, we've had a lot of questions about files not working in Photoshop or not understanding different file types. So uh, make sure you watch this video first. If you're having any problems, watch this video. I uh, hopefully will clear up some things. We're going to be working on a PC today. Uh, some things will be the same for Macs, but uh, sometimes Macs do not have the same problems as PCs. So the most problems that we're seeing is out of PC computers um, and not the Macs. So we're just going to go through a couple things on how you uh, go about using the templates once you've installed them. Um, so first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to my desktop here where I've just downloaded uh, one of the new MVP prototype uh, banners and this is what you're going to see when you download anything from our website they're going to be in zip folders so if you're on a Mac obviously your Mac is going to automatically extract the files but on PCs you have to actually extract these files you cannot uh, just open this file for example if I double click on the zip file that I downloaded it is going to show me all of the things that are inside and you should have our copyright terms and conditions you'll have the fonts that come with that template and you'll also have the template now you cannot use these inside of the zip folder so the first step that you must do on a PC is extract this folder now you can do it a couple different ways you can grab all of this and go ahead and drag it out of the folder maybe onto your desktop or inside of another folder that you create or you can simply go back and right click on this and say extract all now if you have a software on your computer such as WinZip or a different file unzipping program that may show up here uh, but if you don't you probably will see the extract all now you'll see that I do have a secondary program that is giving me additional options of extraction um, but I like to just use the simple PC version that comes with the computer and I just say extract all when that happens it's going to ask you for a destination if you're using the uh, automatic one that comes with your computer. If you're using your program, follow your program's instructions uh, for like WinZip. Uh, so at this point, I'm just going to say I want to go and put it into my same location that it's in right now, uh, but you can designate by hitting the browse button on where you'd like that extraction to move to. You can also say that you want to see the files when they're completed. Um, this is good because then it will open the file folder when it's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that there and we're just going to hit extract this is going to unzip the folder so that you can now use it to both install the fonts and everything else now what you notice is it looks exactly the same as it did when we had the zip folder the only difference is is when you look at the folder up here in the corner it's no longer a zipped folder this is now a workable folder so the first thing you want to do before you use any of the templates is install the fonts that come with it if you're missing a font please email me uh, it's very possible that something may have got missed in the uh, packaging of the product but uh, just simply email me at uh, support at photosolutionsmarket.com and I'll get you that font that you're missing. So to do the fonts, we're going to just open that font folder and we'll just right click and say install and that will go ahead and put those into your computer for you. Photoshop actually uses your system fonts. It does not have a font um, inside of it uh, that it uses. It actually just goes off your system. So you have to install these into your system first when you use fonts. All right, so you see I have the two different folders here, and the difference you'll see is this folder is the zip folder, so it's got a little zipper down it, and it's closed. The one that's active has all of these files open right here, so it looks like it's an open file folder. That's your difference between a zipped folder and a non-zipped folder. When you scroll over them, it does tell you that this one is zipped. It says it's a type compressed zip folder, and this one does not. So always make sure you're working out of this. Now the second topic I'm going to show you right now is um, we're going to talk about the difference between TIFFs and PSDs. Now if you're new to layered TIFF files, you may not understand why you do not have a PSD when you download the template. So for example, on the new MVP, you'll see that you have just a TIFF file. Now, a lot of people don't know that a TIFF file is almost exactly the same as a Photoshop file or a PSD file, and they work exactly the same. Now, some of the confusion that happens is, is your computer may not be set to actually open a TIFF file in Photoshop automatically. To change this, we're going to right click on the folder, or on the file for that example, and it is going to give us 
a option of what we want to do with this file, what program we want to open it with. Now you could always drag and drop this directly into Photoshop and that will open it into Photoshop just like you can with photos and everything like that. You can also go to Photoshop's file and open se uh, selection um, in Photoshop, for example, right here, you can always go up to file and say open and then just browse to that TIFF file like any of these and that will open that into Photoshop. So to change your what program it opens with we just right click on it and we can go down to open with and then you can select your program in which you want to open it with. Now if your program doesn't show up here you can go down to properties and that is going to open this and it will show you right here it will say opens with and I've got it set as Adobe Photoshop CS6. If I want to change this, I just hit change, and now I can select the different program that I want it to open with. So for example, I wanted to open this in CS5, I could select CS5. Then you can come down to other programs if it's not showing up there either, and select the program if it's down there. You can also just hit browse and actually find the file, uh, the exe file for the program for Photoshop if it's not showing up in here. Just hit browse navigate to your actual exe file for Photoshop and select Photoshop. So that's how you would change how to put those into Photoshop so that they actually always open in Photoshop when you just double click on the file. If you do not have that already changed uh, it will not open up in Photoshop. It may open up in a picture viewer or something like that. Now let's go through the differences in TIFFs and PSDs. The reason all of my new stuff now is coming out in TIFF form is because of the file compression. Now that doesn't do anything to the actual resolution of the template or the size of the template in, in the theory of how they function, but the compression is much, much smaller. So for example, right here I have the PSD file of the same template that I have to the right of the TIFF. And you'll notice that this file is 427 megs. It's a big Photoshop file. The exact same file in a compressed layered TIFF is only 215 megs, almost half the size of a Photoshop file. So the reason that you're seeing TIFFs now instead of PSDs through Photo Solutions and Spotlight is because of the compression ratio that happens. This is going to take up less space on your hard drive and it's going to also take a lot less time to download. So there's nothing different in the way they function. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and open both of these in Photoshop. I'm just going to drag these down into Photoshop and I'll show you both files side by side. These are the identical template, just in a TIFF and a PSD. So once these both open here, we'll go look at them. Now, this is the TIFF file, and you'll see we still have all of our file layers. We still have every single function in there. There's nothing missing, nothing changed. If I come over to this file, the PSD, exactly the same. There's no difference between the PSD or the TIFF other than the ratio, uh, the, the size compression of the template. And to go a little further, I'm going to show you the, the details. This is uh, one of our banner templates, so it's actually set up at 48 inches, at 72 inches, at 100 dpi. Now if I go over to the TIFF of the same exact template, 48, 72, 100. The only difference is, is the file compression of the actual working file of the TIFF and the PSD is what's different. So. That's the difference between a TIFF and a PSD. Uh, that's how you open a PSD in Photoshop if it's no longer, uh, if it's actually not originally set to open in a, in a Photoshop file, and also how to install your fonts. Um, if you have any other questions regarding anything, uh, you can always contact me at the office. The number here is 904-398-4355. You can also email me by clicking on the contact link in the upper right-hand corner of the website and selecting Contact Us and sending me an email. Again, this was Sean with Spotlight Photographics and Photo Solutions Market. Have a great day.